Safety pressure relief valves are an essential part of any air blower system. They prevent the blower from reaching extreme temperatures, over amperage or motor overload by releasing the air from the blower to the atmosphere at a given elevated pressure. Safety pressure relief valves are set so the maximum volumetric output capacity of the blower can be released at a pressure slightly below the maximum operating pressure. A test rig has been designed to specifically demonstrate how to correctly set a pressure relief valve. This test rig is composed of a side channel blower connected to various pieces of pipework. PTFE tape is used to reduce air leakage. In this case, it is set up for pressure operation, where the arrow on the safety pressure relief valve is pointed away from the inlet of the pump, showing the direction of the airflow. The function of the ball valve is to adjust and restrict the volume of the airflow to the pump. As the valve slowly closes, the restricted airflow causes the pressure to rise. Now, to setting the safety pressure relief valve, turn on the blower with the ball valve open. Then, slowly adjust the ball valve until it is fully closed. It is important not to leave the ball valve shut for longer than a few minutes, as it could cause motor damage. I will demonstrate how to set a safety pressure relief valve by setting ours to 200 millibar. Begin gradually adjusting the safety pressure relief valve until you have reached 10% under the maximum working pressure. The valve can be turned clockwise to tighten the valve, increasing the reading on the gauge, and likewise turned anti-clockwise to decrease the reading on the gauge. I will now set the safety pressure relief valve. As you can see, the reading on the gauge is now at 200 millibar. Once you've reached correct positioning of the valve, tighten the ring nut. This sets the valve in place. You can see that there is airflow through the valve. If set correctly, safety pressure relief valves allow air blowers to operate safely.